Oi friends, Rainier here. So many of you guys have seen the Seer gameplay and you guys are probably wondering what if I was kiting instead. Now if you guys do not know what I'm talking about or have not seen that Seer gameplay, I highly recommend that you guys watch it before you guys watch this. So I will leave a link in the description below. So definitely do watch that first then come back to this. So it makes sense to you at least, you know, this is like a part two to it. But anyways, so what if I was kiting instead of like the barmaid or prisoner? And this is exactly the video for that. Now, you guys want to stay to the end. That is all I can say because it gets really messy because um, because of me. But, you know, anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy. Remember to leave a like, do subscribe if you guys have not already, and do share with your friends. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy. Okay, so before we do get started, I just want to say one thing. This was such a big coincidence and a deja vu for me. Because I was the same seer with the same skin, the same map, is the same vial, but it's a different player playing vial this time, okay? That's the only difference. I just think it's really funny how it, it plays out the same way. But you guys will want to watch to the very end because it gets really messy it may or may not be my fault, but I'm not admitting to anything, you know? It, it just may or may not be my fault. Anyways, um, let's just watch this, guys. So, I saw Vile, because I'm Sierra, obviously. I knew where his location was. He, he was at Graveyard. He's rotating to the back. I knew, okay, I knew he was rotating to the back. So, what I was trying to do was bamboozle him, like every Mind's Eye ever, right? By backtracking to back to Graveyard. But, um, I, yeah, he didn't fall for that, did he? So the funny thing here is that he almost touched Priestess. Okay, that sounds really weird and wrong. But like, he was so close to Priestess. If he went right to the back gate, he would have killed Priestess right here. Like, they were almost touching. Look, she's right on this wall. wall, And he's on the opposite side. You see that? They were just on opposite side of the wall. But no, he left Priestess. And bad luck for me, he found me instead. He saw my trail. So he didn't really fall for my trick or my mind game. He just kind of knew, you know? Anyway, so I thought at this point, I thought he saw Mind's Eye, okay? I thought he saw Mind's Eye because she's like right there. Like there's no way to miss her, right? But he didn't see her. He didn't see her. So I thought he saw her. So I'm going to go decode the cipher, right? It's like, okay, he's going to leave me. No, he's not. He, he wants to kill me. I'm like, okay, he didn't see Mind's Eye. Well, that's a rip for me, right? Anyways, it's good that I'm kiting instead of Mind's Eye because I probably will last longer due to Sears' high potential of kiting. Um, so I loop him here for a bit. Well, not really loop him, but I try to kite as long as possible without rotating more because Mind's Eye is at Ceremony and Priest is at, at back gate, so I don't really want to kite to them. Um, I didn't know what he had, but he usually blinks, so I was, I was seeing if he had blink. And he did have a blink, and luckily he did miss that. I used my owl here because I didn't want to him to have panic on the team, so it's better if he just hit me. But he didn't hit me. I was like, okay, this man is really, really gambling it. So when usually they don't hit the owl, what they're trying to do is to, after the owl, they will try to hit you with an ability and then melee you. So I had to be really precise on dodging his note at this point because there's nowhere to go. I can't rotate out without getting hit in some way. So I'm just building my owl, just doing what Seer does, stalking owls for some reason. Luckily, I did dodge that note. If I failed to dodge that note, I would have died there and basement is also there. So that was really good of me to do that. Then I rotate away. So I gained another owl. I'm like, okay, Seer is just straight up broke. So four is near me. He was saying that he can help me and stuff. I was like, eh, it's okay. So um, four told me basement was there. I was like, okay, so probably should kite away, but no. I, I'm, I'm a risky player, okay? So I just take my gamble. I want to kite here. It's a good place to kite, so why not? So I use the looping technique right here. I just loop him, didn't really drop the pallet at all. Just constantly, you you guys will see. I, oh, <laughs> this is why I was so confused. I was confused of him. Like the way he plays confused me. So we're just doing really big confusion game right here. So I'm just looping him. He thought I baited, not really. I just kind of left. Now, what he did right here was really good. Um, he he he, um, he put me at a dilemma where I had no choice, honestly. That was just really good of him. Four did an amazing stun right here. Amazing stun. And I was like, okay, well, 
I can't run away anyways because I don't have broken windows and stuff like that so I'm just gonna constantly loop him the stun was really good though that was a really good stun so we have two cyphers left I'm like okay I just need to last a bit more because I haven't been on chair yet if I die now it's okay too but we're not going for that right you know if you guys can kite as long as possible that's also good he beats me there so yeah that's yeah we're not gonna talk about that but yeah he did bait me there now before we watch this part guys i just want to let you know that i did not plan this at all because okay it may or not be my fault but i mean <laughs> i don't know how to explain this guys just just yeah just watch this part um this is this is embarrassing Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain, guys. I forgot to bring borrow time, right? Um, let me explain why. I did not do this on purpose um, because I have two seer build and I did this for the persona guide and I didn't know which one I had. And I was thinking about when I was on the ground. Oh, right. So I didn't even have knee jerk. So, well, I don't have borrow time then, right? So yeah, um, I didn't have borrow time and this, this gets really messy because of me. Um, he he knew I didn't have borrow time, so he just went for the forward. And now he's gonna go back to chairing me. Now I was healing when you save the replay, it kinda glitched like that, but I was healing. Now Priestess was ready. Look at this priestess. She was so ready for this guy. She was waiting for him to chair me right here so she can save me. It was really good of her actually. She planned this out. Really good strat. Good job, Priestess. Um but the thing is now he's gonna go chair forward. Now, <laughs> now Priestess was gonna try heal forward, but he didn't go for me anymore. So he's gonna chair forward instead. Now she was trying to do the same thing, but this vial is smart, so he's not gonna go for that same chair. So he's gonna chair him here. Now he, Priestess stayed back to see if he was gonna teleport or something like that, but he didn't. He saw Priestess, then he started chasing Priestess. And I knew that the hunter did change targets to priestess, so I went to save. So, <laughs> the funny thing is that this didn't end like the way I wanted to, but we're, we're still making progress, right guys? I was gonna pass on him here, but I was way too late. So I wanted to see how long I can kite for as long as possible till they leave, but... Uh, yeah, that didn't work out so well. well yeah, I kind of got smacked here, and he... I don't know why 4 stayed here, but he was trying to get Priestess to come to the same gate. But um, this is really bad uh, situation now, because I'm down on the ground, and 4 is being staggered at gate, and we may or may not tie at this point. So he, Vio did an excellent job. So good. He, he forced him and pressured him so well. So Priestess went to heal me, you know, and I was like, okay, there's no way we can go through that same gate. But I almost have an owl, so I'm gonna take a gamble. If you guys ever play with me, I don't play for ties or and I do risky things for no entire reason. I'm that extra player on your team. Or in this case, I'm the random of the match. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. Being a random is okay sometimes. Okay, it's not okay, but you know what I mean, guys. So detention's over, she's gonna go save, and I build up another owl. And I was gonna use him to chase me so Ford can get away but he knew that I had another owl. And he broke the string here, so he, he just decided to go for forward instead. So he did kill forward, and we still won with three men, but but this is what I'm saying, guys. Um, I was the random, and I do I do admit that, you know. Um, but, you know, this is what happens when you kite with spectator instead of borrow time, because you're doing really well at kiting, right? But it does not matter how long you kite or how well you kite, right? In the end, if they pop the cypher and you're not getting back up, it's going to be a huge problem for your team. You guys can see, right? I did a really good kite, kited to all the way until all the cyphers were popped. But it didn't matter. The kite didn't matter because I didn't get back up. And I didn't know that I couldn't get back up. I was waiting. I was like, okay, okay, he's going he's gonna to pop. Okay, go. I'm not moving. I'm still on the ground. And yeah, I do admit I was a random that time. Uh, Ford in post-match did say, Seer, you scared me right there. 
Um, we could have tied at that point because of me. It was a win, but it could have been a tie because of me. And luckily, we did make up for it. Well, I made up for it. But anyways, yeah. So it was really messy because of me. Um, I will try to bring a spectator. I mean, borrow time next time. Borrow time next time. Wow, I'm a genius, guys. Do you guys hear that? But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, this is why you should bring borrow time. This this video is actually an example of why you should bring borrow time instead of spectator. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember to leave that like, do subscribe if you guys have not already, and do share with your friends. And we'll see you guys all next time.